Well, work is now underway in Johnson County to move a gravesite that's located right in the middle of a county road. Eyewitness News reporter Bruce Kopp shows us the work underway to help traffic flow in the area, as well as preserve the history and the memory of the woman buried there. The excavation work got underway this morning with University of Indianapolis anthropology experts carefully removing the dirt from this four foot high mound. Oh, look yeah, at that. Yeah. Nancy Curlin Barnett was buried here 185 years ago. In 1905, the county built the road around the grave. But over the years, passing vehicles were unable to avoid hitting it. I remember two or three accidents, and then it's always been hard to get through with farm equipment. So they want to preserve its location, but because it sits so high above grade, um, it's a hazard both to drivers and to the remains themselves. This is what the gravesite has looked like up until this week. Anthropologists plan to remove the remains and return them to the site after road crews leveled the ground to make it safer for traffic. When it's done, the grave will be uh, under the ground, uh, about two feet or so, I believe, is the, the standard. We're planning on having a, a wall around it to kind of protect it, and then we'll still have the, uh, we're hoping to have the historic marker there. While the work continues, the historical marker is being stored in the back of this truck, where it states that Nancy Curlin Barnett was born back in 1793. She was married to William, who was the great, great, great grandson of Pocahontas and John Rolfe. It also states that her grandson stood by her grave with his gun while the county relocated the cemetery in order to build the road. Well, it's just such an important part of early Johnson County history. Um, Nancy was one of the early pioneers of Johnson County. As far as we know, it's the only grave on the road like that in Indiana. Um, that's the first time I've worked in the middle of a road before, um, but also just the amount of stories that surround the grave itself. Hopefully at the end, the families of the deceased is happy with where everything looks at and all the history still remains there. and. The final roadway is wide enough for modern-day farm equipment to get through. The project is expected to be complete in the next month. In Johnson County, Bruce Kopp, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.